Lek and Greg Vegan Camp, the 24th of August 2018. This tree is the last tree with the uh, long gun, and I guess that 15% is overripe, 5% is with worms, and the rest is really, really good. But uh, they need to be picked very soon, so probably a couple of more days of eating and then sell the rest. Composting long and branches and leaves. The current problem is that the chicken or the lizards, they eat, or the mouse or the mice, they eat the bananas. So I need to either put them in the, the freezers or full with fruit. So I need to hide them in different areas. And yeah, it's, it's hard to keep up with, uh, with the, the growth of the, the bananas here. So yeah. <laughs> there's a lot of bananas to be eaten right now. I try to scare them away so they don't climb down and they hang down the roof with the, like this special lemon grass that is used for um, mosquito repellent but it doesn't seem to work that well. Yeah, so I also put it in the refrigerator like but there's also like limited space so it's um, yeah <laughs> but it's also good compost. Taro the passion fruit. Mulberries are getting bigger, so I think next season we'll have some, some more mulberry. A lot of random spots with pineapple, but none of them are giving fruit yet. Yeah, and this is the lemongrass type you use for um, as a mosquito repellent but it in my opinion it doesn't work in my opinion and experience the rare red cavendish the first bamboo hut now transformed to a little shelter for different stuff Interesting if this pineapple will will survive among these um, cassava. Those are beautiful. I don't know where, what they are. Can you spot these tall things going up in the up into the sky? It's like bamboo. This is the new bamboo, just from this season. It's like insanely growing, insanely fast. I planted some pumpkin. In the nearby land just after the fire countryside fire and now there's a, like a bit of pumpkin everywhere so if you look closely in, into the bush there's like a gigantic pumpkin in here it's huge the last mango not ready yet Another date palm. Only one coconut survived. Yeah. Casper, we have also chilies for you. Avocado was planted too early because we thought that the rainy season would come like it used to, but it was right postponed. It's the rainy season now, and I don't know how long it will keep on. But actually, we thought it would it was dead, but no, it's it's shooting new side branches, so that's really good. These look like raspberries, but I'm not sure if they are. They don't taste like raspberries. It's like maybe a different type of raspberry. I've never tried before. I don't know. Let me know in the comments below if you know this plant 
berry thing. We of course have Thai eggplant here and there. It grows, starts to grow again quite well now. We're surprised the long bean survived and they are actually producing quite well. So it's a long, 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 long bean. I'm looking forward to see what's going to happen with these asparagus. Some tomato growing. It's probably the most mature date palm we have around. The caviar lime on the heavy protection. Ciao. The passion fruit is like growing really, really fast. I need to get it down from the cables. Usually I just pick up every day the ones that are on the ground. Because there is like, I cannot, I, I can't manage to eat even these. So we don't need to pick them from the, from the plant. Supported by the bamboo, pretty cool. Whoa, what's going on with this finger banana? Already ripe. This is ginger. And galangal, galanga root. Right. Can curry the flowers when they're fresh. Dragon fruit and pumpkin and another pumpkin. I don't know what the plan with the strawberries is. Attempting to grow green peas. <laughs> 